The anointing breaks the yoke. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Phenomenal. I want to congratulate you on the sound desk over there, all you guys, technical guys. How did you even know I was going to teach this message and you got the scriptures ready? All right. And the, and the anointing and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Now, in the Old Testament, they used to span oxen with a yoke, a wooden beam across the oxen, and the oxen would have to plow with these wooden beams. Now, that yoke, of course, is a burden for the oxen. They do not enjoy being spanned together like that with that yoke on them all day long. They look forward to the end of the day when they can be set free. And the Bible says that the anointing breaks the yoke. Whatever bondage you are in, whether it's sickness, poverty, inferiorities, whether it is fears, complexes, whatever it might be, the anointing breaks the yoke. And the anointing turns you into another man or another woman. And the anointing will make you as bold as a lion. The presence of God with you. God's presence, the anointing, removes Satan's bondages. The yoke of sin that binds you, bad habits, sickness, fear, demonic activity of any kind is broken. Acts 19, 11. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick. And the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. They brought cloths and hankies to Paul and he prayed over them. And the power of God flowed into that cloth like a battery. And when that cloth is laid on the sick, the Bible said that diseases left the people and demons came out of them. No mention of prayer made, no mention of the name of Jesus, which we know drives out demons. Even unsaved people in Jesus' day was using the name of Jesus to drive out demons and heal the sick. And the disciples came to Jesus and said, Lord, there's some folks who don't follow us and they're casting out demons and healing the sick in your name. Should we stop them? Because they're not in the in crowd. And Jesus said, no, leave him alone. They weren't born again. Jesus hadn't died and risen. The power of his name had not been given. The Holy Spirit had not come down on the day of Pentecost. And you have these people are casting out demons with the name of Jesus. That's the power of that name. Praise God for that name. Demons tremble before that name. But here you see on the screen, now we just read the name of Jesus wasn't used in Acts 19 verse 12. The anointing, the presence of God drove out the demons. Many times I've just laid my hands on people without even mentioning the name of Jesus and the power of God has flowed into them and demons have come out and they have been healed. In fact, when I pray for people sometimes with back problems and they've got one inch short on the leg or two inches short on the leg, sometimes I have to hope that God's not going to heal them before I pray because I want you to see it on the camera. I'm trying to line up the whole thing with the camera and God just heals them. God is in such a hurry to heal people. He's not going to wait for me. <laughs> Stop dilly-dallying, Pastor Theo. I'm going to help this man right here. 
Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.